instead of paying $4 a gallon for gas, leave those pumps behind and just go home and plug in your car. That's right, the Seattle Electrical Vehicle Association tonight with Ryan Fulcher and Dave Cloud right here. I'm Stan Emmert, and this is going to be a great public exposure because also we have the president of the association, Steve Lowe, on camera, so we're going to make sure everything is right. Ryan, Dave, welcome to the show. All right. Thank you. Now, right here on Public Exposure, what we try to do is to let our audience know as much as they possibly can about something they can do to improve their lives, and so let's just see if we can do that that tonight. Right. Let's start off with a website, though. Sure. SeattleEVA.org. Mm -hmm. That's your website. Yep. Um, Tell me just a little bit about it. Uh, it's, it's using a media wiki, so it's an open source uh, kind of collaborative website, you know, trying to get uh, all the members and the public involved in it, and we try to, you know, have uh, you know all sorts of information about uh, vehicles, parts of vehicles, events that the club uh, attends, um, you know anything related to electric vehicles. All right, well let's just get right into it. Uh, there are there are five basic electric car considerations coming off of the uh, the uh, website itself. Mm -hmm. And Dave, you're primarily involved in converting. So mm -hmm. the first thing is range. What's the range of of a, an electric car? Uh, the range varies uh, a lot depending on uh, what you need the car to do. Um, uh, most conversions are between uh, 30 and 60. Yeah, depending on how much money you want to spend, what kind of batteries you want to use, and what your needs are. Yeah. So we design the car basically around our customers. 30 and 60? 30 and 60 miles? Yeah, yeah. 30 and 60 miles per charge. Uh, there are some production uh, vehicles, or ones that with more expensive batteries that can uh, do up to 250 or 300 miles per charge. Is that uh, the Tesla? That's, yeah, yeah stuff yeah. like the Tesla. And that's a $100,000 car. Yeah. And, and, yeah, I'm and, not going to be getting one of those tomorrow. No. <laughs> <laughs> and the one that you'll see in the video here today is a conversion that I've done for $13,000. Okay. Now, the, another uh, of the electrical car considerations is the environment mm -hmm. or, or environment. What does that mean? Um, that's a big one. Uh, that's, uh, you know, basically uh, with a gas car, uh, you know, you're using uh, gasoline, and you're throwing away most of the energy, um, and, and you know, emitting a lot of carbon dioxide. Uh, mm -hmm. and this is an important thing for you, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Roughly, the uh, gas cars throw away 80 percent, and electric vehicles use 80 percent of electricity that are been put into them. Oh, okay. So, so basic uh, conservation to, just in general, yeah, being yeah. a responsible citizen in, in a time where we probably all need to be thinking more, more green, right? Yeah, and a re really important uh, point is that uh, the electricity can come from, you know, all sorts of sources. It can come from, you know, a dirty coal plant. Up here in Washington, a lot of ours comes from clean hydroelectric power. It could come from solar on your home or a wind farm somewhere. So it's very, mm. you know, the fuel is very versatile, right? It can be very clean. Instead of from dead dinosaurs. Right, yeah. exactly. Uh, something I, I uh, didn't understand very well, so help me out. Uh, an electric car consideration number three is history. History of what? The history of electric cars. They were actually more popular at the turn of the 19th century. So, um, you know, 1912, I think, was a high point for EVs. Uh, they've been around forever. So this really is back to the future then? Yeah, yeah it really is. Yeah. They just didn't have the technology back there to make the proper motor controllers. They weren't uh, weren't all that safe. They didn't really have a lot of good range to them. They weren't that efficient. And we're back to that word efficient. Okay, that's the next that's the next yeah. consideration. Efficiency. Efficiency just means that you know the electric cars. The reason electric cars should work is because the efficiency is there behind the systems in order to make that. That's what it's all about. It's to save energy, just to conserve your energy. And that's what electric vehicles do. Okay. And then the final consideration is potential. What does this mean? Um, what does that mean? Is this like a personal thing? Is this the, the potential of, of all of the uses of an electric car that they're just like any other car? Or the potential of the advancing of the technology so that it becomes more than 100 mile or 220 oh, mile or oh, there's, whatever? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, that's, that's back to that efficiency thing. It's, it's because it's efficient, it's got the potential to be the solution. I mean, the solution way above, uh, it's going to happen way before hydrogen fuel cells. It's going to be, happen before lots of things just mm -hmm. because it, and if, and if we didn't actually, if we didn't uh, kill some of the electric cars back in, in the 70s and stuff and some of those programs, I think we would have a lot better cars now. I think we've made some, mm -hmm. some mistakes back then and, and now it's just starting to come, come alive again. But I bet you guys are very happy that the big automakers now like Mitsubishi are bringing back the electric car. Here's, here's one, Japan's Mitsubishi Motors aims to launch uh, their IMIEV electric car in 2009. It's actually a pretty cool looking car. What about uh, these? These. Well, yeah. we've been getting promised lots of cars over the years from the major uh, manufacturers, and uh, so far they've really been shooting at the high end of, of 
the consumer instead of building an electric car for the general public. And I think now, that's you're a, talking about the GM uh, Volt, I think. Yeah, the before? GM Volt, which is, uh, I think, is a ridiculous. Uh, it's a series hybrid, which means that uh, they want you to go the first 30 or 40 miles off of batteries alone, and then they kick in a gas motor that turns a generator that powers uh, the electric motor, well, charges the batteries and powers the electric motor. And that kind of a system is, uh, it's horribly inefficient every time you change from one mechanical motion to uh, electric chemical and then back to mechanical. It's, it's, uh, it's going to lose all of its efficiency in those systems. So. Okay. So we're not quite ready for uh, the Mitsubishi model because it's not quite ready for us, huh? Well, I think we're ready for it. You know, I mean, as soon as, as soon as somebody, you know, the first, first company that, uh, makes uh, you know a real electric vehicle I can drive on the freeway and has one in a dealer uh, I'm gonna be there to, to buy one right I mm. mean and I know there's a lot of people but that uh, volt was up to they were talked about it being thirty thousand dollars, but it was more like forty thousand well, dollars. Yeah, first and it has the, a little car. It, it's, I'm, it's, I'm not a, going there. It's not that small, but it was originally to thirty thousand dollars to begin with, and then they started crunching the numbers after they announced that, and they realized, well, they can't do it for thirty thousand, so they've already headed towards forty thousand, and mm -hmm. and they still haven't really have a drivetrain in this thing. It's so far, it's just a, a shell. And I think once it gets to the market, I can't see them doing it for under 50000 and that's going to cut a lot of so people So what's out. the incentive for the automakers to, to make this kind of car? I heard Steve Lowe on a radio interview, uh, the president of the Seattle EVA, say that the automakers know that if, they, if these electric cars become in mass production, that a lot of their, their work where they're having to, to make the repairs to all the gasoline engines and all the difficult things that they have to do, that's not going to be there anymore. Yeah. That's probably true. Yeah. They'll probably have to swap out some batteries and, and make some, some changes, some parts failures at the beginning. But uh, I could see five years into this that they will be pretty pretty much uh, reliable vehicles. Yeah, like the Maytag repairman, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah there's, uh, you know, there's few parts in the EV to change out. There's no regular maintenance, no oil changes, right? no air filters. Mm -hmm. There are all these, you know. Uh, consumable components of gas cars that just don't exist in electrics. I think that might be a reason that they're uh, kind of coming around to the plug-in hybrids is that they get to keep all of those consumable uh, gas engine components. Oh, I see. In, you know, and give us the you know electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. You know, but for the most part, we're not really talking about hybrids tonight. No, we're talking about yeah. straight electrical. Yeah. Um, in fact, the the website has just a ton of information on it. Let's go back to it. SeattleEVA.org. One of the pages is electric vehicle. There. Tell me about this page and what. If I go on this page, what am I going to find? Okay. Um, this is a page where I uh, kind of try to cover uh, uh, all sorts of different electric vehicles from. Uh, production electric vehicles that you know were out 10 years ago, uh, the Chevy Volt, the, uh, the I, I mean the GM EV1, uh, GM had an S10, Ford had an electric Ranger, uh, uh, Chrysler had an electric minivan, uh, Toyota had the RAV4, um, Honda had an EV Plus, I think Mitsubishi had another one, uh, so you know I try to have a a page that kind of goes over the you know what each of these cars were all about, what they were capable <coughs> of, um, mm -hmm. and then we also have uh, um, some links to uh, pages like like the Mitsubishi that we just showed you that are kind of prototype cars, uh, cars that might go into production someday, and the Tesla I went on that. The Tesla, yeah, and that one's uh, ninety eight thousand dollars, two hundred and twenty mile radius gets up to 100 miles an hour in mm -hmm. under yeah, those, four seconds or something. Those, those numbers fluctuate a lot. Uh, <laughs> evidently, Somebody's they, not telling me the truth in the auto industry? Come on. Now. Well, they've, got a, they've got $100 million invested in this, uh, in this car, Google does, and uh, the numbers, um, it, 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 they're not going to make any money on these cars, and I don't think they really plan to, but they plan to make some money off of the development of these cars, off of some midnight, uh, some mm -hmm. other uh, nor, more normal cars that they might convert strictly to electric.